my dad bought an old hotel. Now I'm stuck here while my parents fix up the Tremont. You moved into the Tremont. Rumor is the Tremont is haunted. Get ready for an electrifying journey into the supernatural because Secrets of Sulphur Springs is back for season four, and it's guaranteed to blow your mind. Join 12-year-old Griffin Campbell and his family as they embark on another spine-tingling adventure in the closed-down Tremont Hotel of Sulphur Springs, Louisiana. Griffin's father purchased the mysterious hotel without much explanation, setting the stage for a new chapter in the enigmatic tale. In season one, Griffin, along with his newfound friend Harper, uncovered the time-traveling portal that transported them back 30 years to 1990. Their mission? To solve the haunting disappearance of Savannah Dillon, a camper who vanished from the Tremont camp three decades ago. The secrets of the past unraveled as they tried to rewrite history and prevent Savannah's tragic fate. Season 2 shifted the spotlight to Harper, unveiling the mysteries of her connection to the Tremont Hotel. A vintage photograph of her great-grandmother Daisy sparked a journey into the 1930s, hinting at a deeper web of secrets waiting to be untangled. Meanwhile, paranormal activities escalated as the Campbells prepared to reopen the hotel, and Savannah became an unlikely ally in their quest for the truth. Now, prior to delving into Season 4, let's explore the events that unfolded in the concluding moments of Season 3, Episode 8, Nick of Time. Upon arriving at the Tremont, the children are greeted by the sight of an ambulance stationed outside, attending to Sarah. Ben and Jess accompany her to the hospital. Inside the hotel, Sam cautions them to leave, but the doors autonomously close, trapping everyone within. The sitting room bears Sarah's hair comb on the floor, and the painting above the fireplace now displays deep scratches. Ruby ascends to room 205, where the apparition of Judge Walker materializes, his visage now visible. Pleading with him to spare the children, Ruby is met with a threat that they will face a fate akin to his own. The ghost discloses that Grace can find him in the garage until she moved on. Ruby counters, accusing the judge of usurping her family's land. He reproaches her, claiming that his wife, aided by Ruby and her mother, robbed him of his life. Ruby forewarns him of an eternity in darkness, but he vows not to endure it alone, insisting on not sparing the children. Guiding the children to the basement, Sam believes the bunker will provide safety and a potential means of escape. However, as he steps inside, the door seals shut behind him. Urging the kids to wait in the basement, he attempts to open the hatch, which proves futile. The house trembles, and Savannah declares her lack of fear towards the ghost. The commotion subsides, prompting them to ascend to room 205, where they discover Ruby in agony. She alerts them to the pursuing ghost, imploring them to flee through a broken window. Upon leaving the room, the door locks, trapping Ruby inside. In their attempt to break a lobby window, the ghost of Judge Walker materializes. At the hospital, Sarah's condition remains a mystery as doctors struggle to identify any underlying issues despite her stable vitals. Suddenly, she begins to convulse, experiencing a panic attack resembling Isfahan. Concerned, the doctor inquires about any potential traumatic episodes. Ben, desperate for answers, ventures to ask the doctor if she believes in ghosts. Back at the Tremont, the kids confront the ghostly presence of Judge Walker. Savannah accuses him of deceit, theft, and murder. Harper attempts to speak, but finds herself silenced, realizing she's being choked by an unseen force. Simultaneously, Sam manages to break free from the bunker and reaches the front door of the Tremont, which opens and closes on its own. He arrives to witness Savannah struggling to assist Harper in breathing. Judge Walker taunts Sam, but Griffin interjects, praising Sam's strength and emphasizing the importance of prioritizing a loved one's happiness. Griffin shares how his great-grandfather cared more about love than wealth, and the kids express their deep connection to the Tremont and its significance to their families. As the ghost absorbs these sentiments, the floor beneath him begins to glow red and shatter. He is drawn in, and the floor seals shut behind him. Meanwhile, at the hospital, Sarah abruptly regains consciousness in her bed. 
she declares to Ben and Jess, it's over, the kids are safe. With the ghost's departure, Ruby emerges from room 205 to find the kids jubilantly celebrating in the lobby. They step outside to see Sam gazing at the night sky. When Savannah inquires about his actions, Sam's attention is fixed on Ruby. It's time for you to go, she informs him. A tear escapes Sam's eye as he looks at Savannah and her friends. He reveals that his mother is waiting for him along with Daisy. Savannah rushes to embrace Sam and they share tears. He reassures her of her safety and promises to always be with her. Sam's body begins to glow with a white light that ascends into the sky, revealing that all along, Sam was a ghost awaiting closure. Shortly after, Savannah decides to return home. She travels back to 1962, when her adopted mother discovered a bag of money in the garage and donated it to a children's home that could assist kids like Savannah. Her mom introduces Savannah to Camp Tremont's newest junior counselor, a boy named Jordan Barker, whom she recognizes as her seahorse. Ben and Jess return to the Tremont, greeted by hugs from everyone. Sarah, though requiring a night of hospital supervision, is confident that the ghost is gone, bringing reassurance. Jess asks Ruby how they managed to compel the ghost to leave. Ruby responds, shine enough light around and darkness disappears. Wanting to verify that the future has been rectified, Griffin and Harper use the hatch to revisit homecoming night in 2024. They find their future selves alone on the football field after the dance, crowned homecoming king and queen. It appears they are a couple and Griffin, looking at Harper, suggests, why wait for the future, we're already here. They share their first kiss. Returning to the bunker, Griffin contemplates destroying the radio. As he raises a hammer, a boy appears in the hatch doorway. That would be a huge mistake, he cautions. Harper asks for his identity and he reveals Nick Campbell. Confirming her suspicion, he adds, your son. As for season four, it has been confirmed that there will be no further Secrets of Sulphur Springs episodes. TV Line has reported the cancellation of the Disney Channel mystery series, bringing an end to Griffin Campbell's adventures in Sulphur Springs. This news follows the recent announcements of other Disney Channel series, such as the Jesse spin-off Bunked, coming to a conclusion with its seventh season and the conclusion of Saturdays. Additionally, there is news of a Wizards of Waverly Place sequel series in development at the network. Secrets of Sulphur Springs, which premiered over three years ago, introduced viewers to Griffin Campbell, played by Preston Oliver from This Is Us. The series follows Griffin and his family as they move to the small town of Sulphur Springs to take ownership of the Tremont, an abandoned hotel with the hope of restoring it to its former lively vacation destination status. Griffin's journey unfolded as he discovered rumors of the Tremont being haunted by the ghost of a girl who vanished decades ago. Alongside his mystery-obsessed classmate Harper, played by Kylie Curran, Griffin uncovered a secret portal that allowed them to travel back in time. Despite the cancellation, the show leaves behind a legacy of time-traveling mysteries in the quaint town of Sulphur Springs. While Secrets of Sulphur Springs may not continue on the Disney Channel, there's a potential opportunity for Netflix to reboot the series and introduce it to a broader audience. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.